Hello, my name is Richard Stukes. I'm from Gloucester, Virginia. Uh, I belong to Cruising Easy Van Club out of Tidewater, Virginia. We've been uh, a club since 1985. And uh, I happened to pick up this van. It was, a guy was gonna junk it. And I, it came out of North Carolina. It was originally built in Amityville, New York by a guy named Avery. He built this six-wheeler. And I wanted this particular vehicle because it was never showed, right? And he, all he did was work on it. And he was gonna junk it, like I said, from North Carolina, and I found out, so I went down there and I bought it from him and brought it back to Virginia two years ago. And I've been working on it. All right, uh, it has a 351 Windsor in it. And I just put this motor in about, uh, a, about six months ago. And it's a 351 Windsor. I, I, I rebuilt it. I rebuilt it. And this is what it looks like. It runs fantastic. Uh, I dropped the front end of it and put it uh, and, and put another front end under it with stabilizers and it makes a world of difference in handling. Alright. The roof and the cow has been Linux. So I don't have to worry about scratches. I don't have to worry about nothing. And the Lord takes care of it by washing it when it rains. Like I said, I live in the country, so trees and branches and stuff have a tendency to scratch it up. The Linux is a cheap deal, and it lasts a long time. Uh, there's there's uh, four sunroofs on there. I don't have no problem with it leaking. And uh, on the back wing is a Mustang wing on it that came off a 2000 Ford Mustang convertible. Uh, I just put that on there just to be different. Uh, I have air horns on there and I'm trying to get them to work right now. But other than that, I just got them up there and it's for show. It's a, it's a uh, tandem. That's why I wanted it. It's a tandem. Like I said, it was never showed. And the body is in rough shape, but I cannot afford to get it painted. So I'm going to lie next to the whole truck. I'm going to line next to the whole truck and get that done. I got uh, rear bumper covers for it. The doors on it were rotted out, but I had to, I bought another van, uh, 89 Ford van, and I took the doors off and put the doors on it because they're not rotted out. They're in good shape. And uh, I got the Ford louvers. And I did the uh, four louvers in the back. Uh, I got the four louvers on the back. I got antique tags. I got a trailer hitch. I pull a 25-foot a, uh, uh, camper with it. And it does real good. And on this side over here, I got dual gas tanks with Mustang it's reproduction Mustang gas caps. Mm. Cool. Right. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I got it under construction right now. I got the door panels done by Harold's Upholstery and Newport News. He did he did all the upholstery work. He did the seats. He did the seats. He did the dash. Like I say, it's under construction. He made me a cover for the doghouse. And uh, he does excellent work, and he got fair prices, and he gets the work in and out. He don't keep your stuff for a long time. I got parquet uh, wood floors in it, and uh, like I said, it's under construction right now. So I got the floors put in. I did. I did all. I did 95% of the work I done except the upholstery work. Right, uh, y'all can see that it's still under construction, and I'm just working on it in my spare time. I've been, like I said, I've been vanning since 1982, but uh, 
this is what I wanted. I got a king, I got a king size bed. Excuse the junk on the bed, cause we camping this weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a king size bed, and then on each side of the bed, I made a nightstand where it goes from the on the wall to the bed, so that when you're sleeping and stuff, and you take your clothes off, you can put it there, mm -hmm. and in the morning you can put it away for dirty clothes. All right, the beds come up. This is, I designed this my own way so that the the beds come up from the front. Me, I've been looking for this razor blade. This is the front of the bed. It comes up like this. Nice, there's all your storage. And the storage, I can, I can leave here today from Dinwiddie County and go anywhere in the United States and camp out for the weekend. Mm -hmm. I got everything I need. I got water hoses, I got electric, I got extension cords, I got drop lights, and everything is stored underneath that part of the bed. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right. Uh, as you see, I got storage underneath here and like the front comes up, the back comes up, and it's all storage. And the design I make is not hard. It's very simple and easy to make. You know, you'd be surprised. And it holds a lot of stuff. You can put anything you want underneath there, spare tires, tools, uh, extension cords, drop lights, and it's out of your way and it's nice and clean. I got new brakes, got brakes in the front, new brakes, rotors, calibers, lines. In the back, it got uh, new wheel cylinders, brake pads, and drums. The, the back axle is a trailer axle. The front axle is your pulling axle. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. I'm very satisfied with it. Yeah, like I said, it was a 79. Woody used to own it out of New York, and they used to call him Woodstock. So that's how that uh, window is there, Woodstock. And like a, it's a 79 Ford van with a 351 Windsor C6 transmission. She runs, handles, good, excellent. Oops says I should start it up so you can see how it sounds. All right.